Hey everybody, thanks for joining me. Uh, we're gonna look at an art book. Um, one that I kinda wish was a little bit more interesting and in-depth than it actually turned out to be. I'm not saying that it was a waste of time or money. Um, I just, I wish that when I have an art book of somebody, I wanna see more of the behind the scenes stuff, the sketchy stuff. Um, not just reprints of pages that are appeared in the book, which is what a lot of this is. It's not all that's in there, but um, I wish that it just had a little bit more of the rough behind the scenes, never before seen stuff. And it's just, there's not much in here, but it's Frank Miller. That's really cool. Um, it, so there's always something interesting, like his stuff visually, like the layout of this book is already awesome. I love the blam on this big white surface and then cut to black pages, this face of Marv, the gun going off. Um, it's already visually interesting to look at. Um, there's a big introduction by, I don't know who R.C. Harvey is. I have no idea who that is. But um, just going over uh, Frank Miller and his work, his career, all this type of stuff. It's interesting. Um, and then here's an example of some of the rough stuff that I like to see. So this stuff that's in there, that's cool to see how he like breaks down his figures. It's almost like he uses two different colors of markers. There's like, like a lighter colored one for the body and then a black one to put the clothes over the body. So you got to work out the figure and then you can put the clothes over it and figure out where the folds go. Um, so it works. But then a lot of it just becomes this. It's just reprinting pages from his comics. And so that's fine, but I've got the comics. I have these. Maybe not this, this is like a small panel or something like that instead of a big full page. So it's fun to artistically look at, but you know, that's a cover. Um, pay, uh, book three, page six on that one. So again, they're all good, but I've got these comics. Um, I wanna see this. Again, there's that black marker or whatever he's drawing with. It looks like a marker, a Sharpie or something like that to figure out the figure. And he takes this red one to go over it to figure out where the clothes are going to be hanging off his body. I, When I saw that, I'm like, oh, I, okay, I get it. And that's what it turns into. That's the finished drawing itself. You can see how he figures out everything and he eliminates what he doesn't want just to get that hard contrast of blacks and whites. Um, pretty damn awesome. And his artwork, visually awesome, the way he does this rain and stuff. It's just beautiful work. But I want more behind the scenes stuff. I love that big shot of his face, it looks great. Here's another great one, pencil pages. To see his rough pencils, this is the stuff I'm fascinated with. This is what I wanna see. So much expressive work going on here. The lines in the face, it looks so good. Give me an entire book of this, please. Like nothing but that stuff, and then you will have a big time seller. Um, he always draws naked ladies. Uh, you can't say he doesn't have a big old ding dong out there. From that um, Silent Night, big shot from there. It's like the opening page. Really cool looking. If you've read all the Sin City books, you know where all of this is from. You've seen all of these, and they're blown up a little bit bigger. So it's interesting, more behind the scenes, just that rough sketch stuff. I wonder why they put them on these like colored pages in here. Like what's the mindset behind that? Like why, why are we doing that? I, I don't understand. It's, it's fine, but I guess, I just guess I don't understand. So, you know, I'm not gonna dwell too long on these. If any of these you, that you wanna look at, you can always stop and pause it. Um, this is this is an interesting thing where there's the finished drawing and then there's his rough sketch to figure it out. I bet he takes this and does a light box over it and then does like a basic drawing and pencil and then just goes straight to ink on a big canvas. I think he draws all these on really big pages. But this is interesting. See how he works out the figure and everything like that and then gets in the final drawing and seeing them side by side. That is interesting. Everything Frank Miller does in the Sin City era is just great. Great sketch. This from the Dame to Kill For with the Venetian blinds casting the lights across them. Pretty epic stuff. Here's another great shot of his pencil work from the original uh, The Hard Goodbye, is it? Look at the, the pencil line work that he does in here. There's so much interesting life to this pencil stuff. Thin, sketchy, quick lines, but then he interprets it. I love all of it. The way her head's tilted back, the folds and all the, the blankets and stuff. It's really great. 
There's another side-by-side. -side. I like how he gets all these details in their little outfit. This is Marv and Nancy, and um, a little like studded little designs on these chaps that she's wearing. Pretty awesome. You can see like the really light, soft lead pencil he's doing his basic figure work on. Then he pencils in with the black Sharpie, and then adds the red on top for the clothes. Probably light box. And maybe just light box just go straight to ink for all I know. I mean, who knows? I've never seen anything that talks about how he does exactly his work in this era. I love the textures on his coat here. Just these little squiggly lines to give it like a soft, furry, thick coat design. Looks fantastic. <clears throat> Another great side-by-side -side rough drawing. Got the figure all worked out, and then he just cuts it in with the shadows. He figures out where all the lines are. Like, got to get my pointer. It's like he show, he's defining here where, you know, her side of her body is, and just basically leaves it open. Like the side of her body is probably gonna actually be here, but he doesn't draw on that line. He just draws the hard shadow and just lets you get her figure defined by the shadows. Pretty, pretty dang good. More great pencil work. Again, I wanna see more of this shit. Really cool. And I love all the awesome white splatter texture going on here. These two figures are making out. Like if you can tell, there's a woman here and him and they're both embraced, kind of becoming like one figure. Another great rough, another great pencil shot. You can see he kind of refined how he drew Marv. This is like one of the first images of him in the first story ever. He's a little bit more slender and skinny. And as he drew him and went on, he became a big hulking tank. I mean, he's still a big guy compared to that girl, but um, yeah, he got much bigger and more intense. So again, just more of this great work. The heavy shadows. I love this lightning in the back. It's very simple, but completely effective. Lightning, rain, the drapes in this style. That is, that takes an understanding that is hard, but I love it. Page from the book. I think this is a cover right there. <laughs> All the outfits are so good. Good Lord, look at that double page spread from uh, uh, The Big Fat Kill. The last page, I believe it is. Oh, it's so great. I wonder if he draws the full figures in full black and then comes back over it with white and paints over it to give it this hazy smoke. I'd be like worried about fucking up the drawing by painting over it, but you just gotta go for it, right? Um, it works really well. And these muzzle flashes are bright. It's just black and white. This white is no different than this white, but because they're muzzle flashes from a gun, they feel brighter. Doesn't make any sense, but there it is. There's another awesome multimedia use, or not, whatever, but like textures. Splatter, paint, everything, just to give it a intense vibe going on there. Really neat. Again, just more pages that we've seen in the books. I mean, I like their choices. They chose a lot of great pages. It's, it does say the art of Sin City. It doesn't say the art of Frank Miller, but I just want to see more of this type of stuff. <clears throat> Skipped a page accidentally there. Gordo Pushkar. That always made me laugh. You have to read it to understand the context, but it's hilarious. There's a great side-by-side. -side. Gets that car in there. And um, there's your finished drawing next to it. God, it makes me want to draw. It makes me want to get out that ink and just start drawing. I don't do digital. I never will do digital. I'm always going to draw by hand. Pencil, ink on paper. That's what I do. What a great shot. That car looks amazing. I always did cards good, too. You got a Lamborghini here, an old bug. Another great shot, pretty sexy. I always loved this drawing. Once again, it's just black and white, but these splatters make it look like it's glowing. 
like she's getting hit by water. Like she's a, it's probably Nancy. She's probably up on the stage. There's probably water being flung around at her and it's just misting everywhere off her. The way that her face is totally concealed. You only get the slightest like um, indications of her anatomy, but then these white splatter paint, like it just looks like a glow. It looks so cool. This is maybe my favorite drawing in the whole book in a lot of ways. This is a lot more abstracty with the hair being so straight and rigid and cut off. And it's almost hard to decipher what you're seeing. Let's keep cooking through this thing. Oh yeah, this is another one. Just these beautiful, I mean, I like to draw female figures. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna pretend like I don't. I love beautiful girls and I love drawing all the curves and shapes and making it look sexy and attractive. And he does it so well. Just getting these highlights of these shadows, just implied anatomy through the shadows and the big awesome hair. Really, really cool. Um, I always thought that drawing was kind of okay, but this one is one of my favorites. They, they made posters of this. I think my brother had it on his wall for years. Um, the, sh the shadows on the body there are so well done. I love it so much. And then the composition with the moon behind her. It's just awesome. I'm trying not to linger on it too long because I don't want this thing to get age restricted. Speaking of age restricted. Um, again, this great physical anatomy drawing that he does, and it just pairs it down to just the basic abstract he shapes. I love it so much. Um, certain attention to detail. You don't see him do much there, but there it is. It's pretty awesome. Another one of those great black and white, just pieces of artwork where he's just experimenting with shadow and form. Looks so neat. I would love to see these originals. I bet he could sell them for hundreds of thousands of dollars this one's another great one where the body is basically defined with all these like sequin studs on her little outfit here that is really cool and then just how her face is blackened and her hair is just a white shape really neat another one with the designs on her outfits like and this girl wears this exact outfit in that movie um the first sin city movie the earrings and all this designy shit and the way her hair is done it, they paid really close attention to the books and nailed it another great one it's the same thing the body defined by just the shadows and the details of the outfit absolutely beautiful oh yeah and i guess the some uh, there was a one there was some colored work the covers these always look great. Uh, I believe they were uh, Lynn Varley. Let's say, oh yeah, colors by Lynn Varley. Um, she always made these things look so good. How do you take that black and white artwork and make it just even better? Um, hand colored stuff. It's always hand drawn, black and white ink. I'm gonna hand color this shit. There was a scene in one of the Sin City books where he's uh, got accidentally he got drugged, and so this, the book suddenly went to color, and he's having these weird trippy like. Flash flashbacks. It was some. It was a wild book. Um, that cover with that explosion behind him. That looks great. Here's more of that drug trip the guy was having. So many weird things going on. He was just freaking out. And when you're having a drug trip, suddenly the colors become enhanced. That looks great. Uh, it looks like watercolor for sure. Those colors are amazing. thing coming towards a nice perspective so cool so yeah the drug trip the guy's going through is still happening love the coloring on that it looks almost airbrushy i wonder if that's what it is i'm not sure but ma'am i barely know you i'm not gonna stop you though is it wouldn't stop me There's a recreation of, or uh, just a reprint of that Sin, uh, Silent Night cover. Freaking great. Again, that watercolor, the, the color choices in it, the way they uh, she uh, like washes them together. Just love it. 
I wonder if she watercolors on top of the original artwork. I imagine not. So I wonder if she gets a copy of it on some watercolor paper and colors out. So maybe there's two originals, the original black and white, and then maybe a watercolored version, or maybe she colors on the original. I don't know. That'd be interesting to find out. That's a hell of an image right there. Bloody hand and the big old six shooter revolver and that like sun in the distance on the road. That's, that's really cool. That's a great image right there. Then there's a picture of him in his studio. Like, does he stand as he draws? And he got like these morgue files, like these big drawers you pull out where they keep all their artwork. You gotta have some place to store all this shit. And I bet you there's, there could be millions of dollars worth of value in all his artwork right there if you were to decide to sell him. I don't think he needs the money. It's one of those things where if you look at Frank Miller these days, he does not look well. He looks like a very old man. He looks very skinny and wiry and... I mean, I don't know that he's sick or anything. No one's ever said that, but I'm like, it just makes me wonder what's going to happen with his artwork. All this shit that he's got, which I don't know that's ever been sold. Once he passes on, I wonder if he's got a will worked out for a family or something like that to keep the artwork or make it go into the hands of somebody who deserves it. I don't know. There's a lot of money that could be made there once he's gone, which I don't want him to be, but, you know, everyone passes at some point. Anyway... Just a quick video, 15 minutes of the art of Sin City. It's good. I just wish there was a little bit more of the behind the scenes stuff in it. But that's all right. It's, it was, it's a fun book to have and I'm glad that I've got it. So I just thought I'd get it out here and share it and uh, let everyone else take a look at it if you haven't seen it already. So that is all I've got for now. Thank you for joining me as always. I appreciate it very much and I will talk to you soon.